Good day everyone, I'm Dan. Uh, welcome back to Pretty Average Astro and to my unboxing and review on the ASI Air Mini, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, I was toying uh, with Nina for a little bit, uh, but I realized that I'm still going to be uh, traveling uh, here and there. Um, uh, so I ended up uh, purchasing uh, the ASI Air Mini after selling uh, my ASI Air Pro uh, a little while ago. Um, so I'll get to the unboxing. So in the box you'll get a number of male and female DC cables uh, with a splitter um, and also the finder shoe, aerial and instructions. On the sides of the Mini, you have uh, two DC out ports and a DSLR uh, snap port. On the other side, you'll have another two uh, 12 volt DC outputs and a USB-C connection for your PC. And just note the out port ports can't be individually uh, controlled. On the front, you have four USB 2.0 ports. On the rear you have your aerial reset button and DC12 input and indicator lights. And on the bottom you'll have your finder shoe and serial numbers and other info. G'day everyone, looks like I lucked out with a clear night uh, tonight and I had one night of cloud since the uh, ASI Mini turned up so that's pretty good. Uh, it'll be the first night um, doing a proper deep sky uh, test and skin my HEQ5 after the motor controller replacement. Uh, I was doing some pretty uh, funky stuff, so hopefully that's all resolved. Um, and first target's going to be Orion. Uh, last time I shot this was just with my modified DSLR and a CLS filter, um, but now I've got new scope, wider, uh, wider view with the uh, Star Zona 0.65 reducer, um, and with the uh, off to long narrowband L ultimate filter and the 533 MC Pro so it should be um, pretty good but yeah see how we go. Over the holidays I was able to image uh, the Orion, Rosette and Horsehead Nebula um, and I'm pretty happy with them all the minimum integration time that I had and definitely the best picture I've taken of Orion which I'll show at the end of the video. Uh, pretty happy with guiding uh, at the moment it's not the greatest uh, I was really worried with the uh, guiding calibration at the start. It was like everything was two seconds behind on the on the screen. So it looks like it looked like there was still major areas in the east step, but then it would jump to the north step like it was uh, almost lagging. Um, uh, but at the moment, uh, I'm getting five minute exposures, and although the total uh, errors higher than what I'd like. It, it's steady uh, around that number, so there's no uh, random jumps that I was getting before, and it's pretty windy out there uh, at the moment, so I can't ask for much more. Uh, but yeah, really, really happy that um, I'm back to doing some deep sky imaging. Uh, here we are about a month and a bit later. Um, I took uh, four weeks leave over Christmas and out of that four weeks, I had one day uh, of no clouds. So that sucked. Um, I did get a uh, half an hour to an hour here and there, um, but definitely wasn't as much as what I was expecting and I'm genuinely uh, disappointed. Um, but I think I did get to use it enough to test it for my own purposes um, and to give a decent overall experience um, of what I liked and I pretty much just like it. Uh, I've just got a, a few little issues um, which I think might be just specific to me um, but uh, the four USB ports no issue with them being 2.0 um, over 5 gigahertz, 2 gigahertz um, in station mode um, well, where I'm right on the other side of the house um, the download speed oh, it was like a second or two per photo um, max um, uh, so I had no dramas there had no dramas pairing anything with the um, 12 volt uh, power system it having uh, its own local storage uh, EMCC storage is great um, I've got a little uh, USB C to USB A dual uh, memory stick so I can 
plug it straight into the ASI Air and then straight into my MacBook without needing any adapters. So that's worked really well. Its antenna range has been great um, and I had no issues getting it working with my Wi-Fi net network in station mode. That's pretty much it. It, it worked like my ASI Air Pro. Um, it was pretty much, yeah, pretty much good. The only real issues uh, that I had um, was more so uh, during uh, guiding calibration. When it's doing its uh, east and north steps, uh, there seems to be like a delay, maybe five seconds um, between my mount and the ASI Air. Um, there's no actual delay. Uh, there's just a delay with it displaying what step it is to where it actually is on the star. Um, so it looks like it's continually to step past the star and it's blowing everything out and then suddenly it'll jump to north step four and everything's all good. Um, I never had any issues with it failing calibration or anything. It was just, it's just annoying because you think it's wicking out um, and you think there's some issue when there's not, which gives you high astrophotography uh, anxiety. Um, and pretty much, I know the only other thing I, I, I just noticed plate solving um, and bringing up, I guess, the search function when you're looking for targets. I just found that a little bit slower. Oh, I think that that may be the processor, maybe the RAM. Um, plate solving um, could take up to 15 seconds sometime. It's not really an issue, but you're just like waiting around thinking that it's going to just keep on ticking or it's frozen um, or something. And yeah, just the search function. It just takes a little while to bring everything up, um, but that's first world problems. Um, yeah, so if you noticed that as well, that, that would be handy. Um, if you do have an ASI Air Mini, um, that just might be my, low, my, my experience. So um, I don't remember uh, watching any other review and then bringing the same things up. So, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, but I think it's great. It's super tiny. Uh, I, I really like it for, for my rig. Um, and as you can see, I'm uh, experimenting with uh, color schemes uh, at the moment with the white, uh, green, and red. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited that this review is out of the way. Everything's working and I can just start banging out uh, some photos. Um, yeah, so hopefully you've got enough information. Um, I know my channel is pretty average, so uh, I'm not super detailed with stuff. I just try to give um, just uh, honest, realistic uh, experience without diving into too much. Uh, but hopefully you appreciate that. Um, and thank you very much um, just for everyone's uh, likes and comments uh, over the Chrissy period and to the new subscribers. Uh, so cheers and see you soon.